Hello, welcome to part eight of the legend of Spud Murphy. Now, we left the story at the point where Spud Murphy noticed that Marty was up to no good. Do you remember he was deliberately messing up all the books, swapping their positions in the library? And Marty realised that Spud Murphy had set him up. She had been waiting for him to do something wrong and she had stood just behind the shelves so that she was there to catch him. And do you remember she threw that ink stamper so hard that it pinned the piece of paper to the bookshelf for a few seconds? Let's find out what happens. So like here she is, coming storming over to find out what Marty is up to and to deal with the situation. I'm sorry, Spud, Mrs. Murphy, I'll never leave the carpet again. Spud slid across the floor on her slippers. Too late for that. Since you're already off the carpet, you can fix the damage you've done. But there are hundreds of books. I can't remember them all. Spud ran a finger along the shelf. Each book has a number. This section starts at number 560. She plucked a book from the shelf. Here it is. I've started you off. You get these in order by the time your mother comes to pick you up and maybe I won't have to tell her how you set off the fire extinguishers. Marty's mouth flapped. But I didn't. Spud put her hands on her hips. I know you didn't, and I'm sure your mother will believe that. Unless, of course, you've been in trouble before. Marty thought about it for a moment, then began rearranging books as fast as he could. He knew when he had met his match. Two hours and 14 paper cuts later, Marty was finished. He sat on the carpet, sucking his fingers. That wasn't so bad, he said on the way to the exit. I've had teachers meaner than her. Marty was actually getting cocky again. Marty, don't you remember the rubber stamp? She nearly took your head off. Yes, that was cool. She must practice for hours. Do you think she'll really say that I set off the fire extinguishers? I don't care, I said. I just want to get out of here. Marty had started to wander over towards Spud. I couldn't believe it. Mum was outside waiting in the car. I could see her through the swing doors. We were almost safe. And Marty was going over to the librarian's desk. Excuse me, Mrs. Murphy. Spud's head swiveled slowly like a tank gun. Her eyes landed on Marty. Martin Woodman, back for more. I would have thought you'd keep well away from me. Do you see how in his head, so this must be Will, he's imagining Spud Murphy with her head swiveling like a tank gun look. That's how he's visualising her. That's the picture he has of her in his head. Just one question, Mrs Murphy. You wouldn't really say I set off the extinguishers, would you? Spud smiled back at Marty. Her teeth looked like a row of icicles. Oh, wouldn't I? Look at Spud Murphy, what does she look like there? What does she remind you of? Look at this great big wide open mouth with the teeth like a row of icicles. What creature does that remind you of? I think it reminds me of a shark. I think the illustrator is showing that she's a bit like a shark waiting for her prey to come along. I don't think so. Throwing a stamp is one thing. That was cool, by the way. You liked that, did you, Martin? Sure did. Spud 
opened the box on her desk. I have a collection of stamps here. One came in last week you might like. It's in the shape of a pirate flag. A lot of the boys like me to stamp it onto their forearms, like a temporary tattoo. She began to close the box, but maybe you're too young. Marty was already rolling up his sleeve. No, I love that. On my arm. Wait until the lads in the swimming pool see this. Spud selected a stamp, inking it on a blue pad. Are you sure, Martin? This won't wash off for days. I'm sure. Stamp away. Well, if you're sure. I'm going to stop the story there. and I'm going to make you wait to find out what happens. I don't mean like that. Okay. What did you think of the punishment Spud Murphy gave Marty to put all the books back in the correct order? I thought that was quite a good punishment because it meant Spud Murphy didn't have any extra work to do, but it meant that the library got put back the way it should have been. And hopefully it might act as a deterrent to Marty the next time. It might make him think twice about messing things up, mightn't it? Okay, two questions for you as usual. Question one. Why did Spud Murphy threaten to tell Mum that Marty set off the fire extinguishers when he didn't? You know he didn't do it. Marty knows he didn't do it. Spud Murphy knows he didn't do it. So why would Spud Murphy tell Mum that Marty did set off the fire extinguishers? What would be her purpose? So full sentence answers, please. This one's going to need to be quite a long sentence to get it all in. It could start with, I think, because remember, you'll give me your thoughts. I think Spud Murphy said she'd tell mum that Marty set off the fire extinguishers because, okay, I'll say that again because it's quite a long sentence starter. I think that Mrs. Murphy said she'd tell mum that Marty set off the fire extinguishers because, and of course, I want you to finish with giving me your opinion, your thoughts on why did Mrs. Murphy do that? Question two, it's a prediction question. So I want you to use what you already know from the story to predict what is going to happen. What I want your prediction for is why is Spud being nice to Marty and giving Marty a pirate flag stamp Remember, she's just caught him messing up the library. He did such a serious job of messing up the library that it took him two hours to fix it. It wasn't a little bit of messing up. She was really cross about it. Her teeth looked like a row of icicles. Her head looked like a tank gun. She threatened to tell mum that Marty did something really, really naughty, even though he didn't. And yet suddenly she's being nice and she's giving Marty a pirate flag stamp. Why could that be? So your answer might begin with, my prediction is that Spud, should we call her Spud this time? Spud is giving Marty a pirate flag stamp because my prediction is that Spud is giving Marty a pirate flag stamp because, or you might need so that instead of because. My prediction is that Spud is giving a Marty a pirate flag so that you might want that joining that those connecting words this time. See how you get on. And I look forward to getting your emails again this evening. Thank you very much. Bye bye for now.